Alright, and we're back. The sledgehammer is safely stored in my backpack. Um, we're gonna come out here and fight these guys real quick. They were hanging out in front of the door here. I think with the sledgehammer it might actually be time to head back. We got what we came for, and now it means we can get into the, uh, we can get into the, um, there we go, into the police station and get a, get a, get, get at the guns. I'm always nervous about sleeping away from home, too, you know, without anything secured. It's kind of a dangerous proposition, some carrot seeds, we'll take that. Uh, some more twine. Heck yeah. Propane torch. I think we ha I think we have a propane torch. It's fine. Um, another propane torch. Box resistors and a crowbar. Power cord. Alright, nothing real special. This just... This is the weirdest thing. It just goes up to the roof. We got a sleeping bag or something. It'd probably be pretty safe. Up here. But yeah, this just goes out onto the roof and there's just... You can see nothing really up here now. If I walk off this roof, that's why I don't like being up high. If we walk off this roof, we're dead. Uh, it'll break our leg easily. Speaking of which, let's check on our wound. Okay, we're still cleaned. We're still clean, I should say. So, all right, let's have a look at the. Let's have a look at this car. See if we can get the hood off of it. Nothing else. If the hood's working, yeah, the hood's only. Well, 42% is better than none. So. Oh, we need a wrench, and we need a car key. And, of course, it's locked. Yeah, we solved that problem. But, uh... You know, honestly, by the time I manage to take it off, it'll probably be just as damaged, so there's really just no point. So let's, um, go ahead and, uh... Let's just drive up here and see what else there is. And we'll start headed back. Um, is this okay? So there's this place here, which... If that door is locked, we can use the sledgehammer to get into. Let's fight these guys. Let's see here. Oh, well, you may be leaving instead. The problem is, I don't want to get backed up against the truck. Alright, let's do this. Let's get the hedge trimmer off. There we go. This should get it done faster. There we go. Two, three, four. Nothing there. Let's go ahead and re-equip the steel pipe. And let's... Let's just go over and see if this door is unlocked. If it is, that's great. It's not. So what we'll do then is we grab the sledge out of the bag. We put it in our inventory. And once it's in our inventory, we have a new option called destroy. Now we just bust this wall down. Boom. Then we uh, immediately unequip the sledgehammer. Because trying to fight with the sledgehammer is an exercise in futility. Oh, whoops, that's not the one I wanted to do. We put the sledgehammer back in the bag. And we equip this steel pipe instead. Because that's the new steel pipe that we don't want. No, re no reason to run its condition down. And now, we can't secure this room, but we've gotten access to it. So, of course, we're going to grab the water cooler. water bottle. That can actually go in our pack, too. I put most of the crates in the truck, so we actually have some uh, some space in our backpack again. But the truck is almost totally full. I don't know if we have a bucket, so we'll take a bucket. Garbage bag and lighter. Full. Who throws away a full lighter? Also, we need to dismantle things like this. I know it seems odd, but it's the only way we're ever going to get that skill up, even slowly. We're almost a level 1 mechanic. 
or not mechanic, electrical, so it's worth doing. Pallet truck. Okay, so so watch this. Pallet truck. Boom, pallet truck. That thing was inside that crate. It's ridiculous. All right. We may end up just staying the night here. I wish there was a, wish there was a way to just sleep on the ground. You know what I mean? It's a lot of bleach. But I really wish there was a way to do that. We can sleep in these. Ch well, you know what? There is. I have an idea. I can. What I'll do is I will take one of those chairs into that room, and that will be where we'll sleep. Cause I bet. Nope. Well, let's do it. That's lame. We'll figure something out. All right. So nothing real. Oh, there's some boxes down here. Let's go check these. All right. Just got some thick rope. Nothing. Nothing. Let's go over here. Box. I saw a box of nails. A trowel, but we have a trowel, so I'm not really worried about that. Another lighter. Useful. Okay, yeah, yeah, we can. So what we'll do is this. Pick up the chair. Take it in here. Close the door. Put down the chair. And go to sleep. So let's go to sleep. This could be the end of us. This could be dangerous, but we're very tired and it's raining, so... See what happens here. We'll be back. All right, we survived yet another uh, yet another sleep away from home. We're okay. It's morning now. How's our weight? Our weight's going up. We gained a uh, a kilogram. We are hungry, however, so I'm just gonna let that ride. We don't want to get fat. So you can see, it's still raining and it's dark out now. But uh, I think it's time to go ahead and head home. We've uh, pushed our luck quite extensively, I believe. Where's the door? There it is. See, it's pretty damn dark. Power still on. That's nice. It is, uh, still day 19. Here we get back. I'm going to disconnect the battery, take it in the house, and let it charge. So I'm going to go ahead and drive us out of here. I think, uh,. This is the way out, isn't it? Yeah, down here around this way. I mean, we could have just turned right. right back up there. So just so you know, I'm not going to do anything about it right now, but there is also a large group of zombies that have gathered on Main Street back in the hometown. So we're going to have to deal with them soon, too. I think when we get back and we put this stuff away, we will... Uh, see, there's another big-ass group right there. Anyway, I think when we get back, after we put everything away and get settled... I think what we'll do, actually, is, uh, what we'll do is we'll go to the police station, we'll loot the guns, we'll get all that good stuff, and then we will, uh, possibly head down and do a little shooting. And, uh, that could be the, that could be the death of us, but, uh, at least it'll be something new. So, alright, I'm gonna drive us home, we'll be back. It is day 19, actually, it's day 20 now, uh, the evening of day 20. It's still raining, but that's not really a big deal. Uh, we got our sledgehammer and our backpack here. Everything that we brought back from the uh, industrial place has been put away. I forgot to charge his battery again. Uh, so this car might start eventually, but we're going to head to the police station and uh, see what kind of cool guns we can find. So we're going to drive over that way now. I'll show you guys. We'll take a little detour. I'll show you guys just how many zombies have uh, rolled up in our area here. There's a group there, a small group there. Then you get up here, there's this guy here. There's a group right here. There's another group up here, I do believe, around this corner. So I hit one of them with the car on accident. That's why his legs are broken. All kinds here. And here. And then you get down here at the corner and it gets pretty thick. There's some. There's some. There's a big group right there. 
end right there. And I bet we just, there's a group there. And I bet we just lost a headlight too. And so yeah, they, um, there's a pretty big group of these guys here. So I'm going to do something real quick. We're going to pull up right here. I am going to honk the horn to get them all to come this way. And then what we're going to do is slip out back this way. See how they come. And then roll just through the grass back here. That should pull most of them off the street at least. Now we're going to head down. Shoot! There's a big group back here too. Look at them all. Didn't really have much of a choice on that one. Yep, we lost a headlight. I thought we would. Okay. But they're all headed north now. So... Except for the few that are going to see us. And we'll just... Outrun them. Look at this. This is nonsense. Alright. Head down here to the police station. Get in here, get the guns. And we'll probably end up going up there and using guns. Trying to use guns to clear those guys out. Just for... Just for the, just for the fun of it, really. There we go. Alright. Okay, there we go. So let's head in. I just transfer the sledgehammer to our to our inventory. So we're gonna need it. We know we're gonna need it. Right click, destroy the door. And we're in. Armory is ours, boys. Alright. Let's go ahead and get our steel pipe re equipped just in case something happens. That's not... Oh, I equipped the saw. I really don't think that's going to help. There we go. What do we got? Alright, so we've got a box of uh, 220... A couple boxes of 223. Some boxes of shotgun shells. Looks like there's a Benelli M3. We'll take this full choke. These gun brush kits. We'll definitely take this M4. And... How many magazines? There's three magazines for that M4 here. That's great. Nothing there. Riot gear and a police baton. We'll take the police baton. I don't think we need to re really need the riot gear. More Stanag mags for our M4. More rounds for our M4. More clean. More things to clean the guns with. That's great. Um, 250 round canister. Double lock buck. Um, I'm not taking the. I know one person in the audience is going to get really mad. That I'm not taking this 5.7, but uh, that's okay. So IOTV doesn't actually provide any armor, so it's really not worth having. Uh, M21 magazines. We'll take that, I guess. MRE. Some WD-40. Probably don't need any handcuffs. Some more WD-40. Police baton. A, a not select fire AR-15. 250 round box of 223. And more boxes of 223. So we just got a lot of ammunition for our for an AR as well as a shotgun. No handgun rounds. Very surprising that we didn't get any. Um, there's more. That's 5.56, five, which is, for those of you who don't know, pretty much the same as 2.23. Uh, I'll take this other 8.70. Take all of this stuff. Okay. That's really surprising. There were no pistol rounds at all. Um, that's not common for uh, for these kind of things. There's another police station in Maldra. That we can go loot at some point too, but for now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and run home and get this stuff put away, and then we're gonna we're gonna suit up. So uh, we'll be back. All right, everybody, we're back. It's day 21. I didn't want to try to do this at night. We are gonna head out of town so that our gunfire draws them out of town and not back into town. Uh, we've got a tricked out Benelli M3 with us, recoil pad, uh, skeletal stock, red dot sight sling on it, all kinds of different gun modifications you can add to things. Uh, so it's tricked out and ready to go. We got our ammo with us. Um, the game does allow you to put a suppressor on a shotgun. I'm not doing it because I know that's not very realistic and it bugs me. So what we're going to do is we're going to park the car right here so we can easily get away. I did forget to charge the battery. Hopefully that doesn't hurt us any. We're going to go ahead and take one bit of beta blockers. 
because that's going to stop us from panicking, and you know that's going to happen. Um, let's have a cigarette. All right. And let's get started. We're drowsy. That's ridiculous. We just slept. All right, here we go. <laughs> And it's on. You can see that it's actually dropping our uh, shells on the ground. I think that was it. No, oh, yep. Time to reload. Like I said, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Oh, this may be the end of us. <laughs> Our truck is now surrounded. Let's start pulling them this way. <laughs> well, yeah, this didn't go as well as I was hoping it would. I sometimes this whole uh this this whole missing thing gets on my nerves. Like it, the aiming system in this game is a little wonky, so. Like that shot shouldn't have missed. The shells go where your mouse cursor is. So obviously, you want headshots. But, uh, they're obviously a little harder to get. Firing into groups is also good. How many rounds do we have left on us? 33. I've got a two boxes and yeah, I've got 50 more rounds in my backpack. So, See, it went right past him and hit somebody in the group. That hit a zombie back there and killed it. That totally missed. I need to be counting. One shot left. Okay, you can walk while you reload, but you can't run. <laughs> Such a big horde. This is ridiculous. That's six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Leveled up our aiming, thank God. One. And that should be out. Yep. Luckily we're not panicking, however. This would be much worse if we were panicking. Your, uh, your panic obviously affects your ability to shoot. Oh, we're panicking now. It's time to take some more beta blockers. And here comes another group. On the upside, we've probably cleared the town of zombies and pulled them this way. We got that guy back there. Well, I don't think it killed him. He's dead. She's dead. Did it jam? I don't know what happened there. That was weird. What are we at? We're at one round. Might as well just reload. This was, uh, not a good idea, but I figured it would be interesting at least. We should be able to get away, though. Honestly, three rounds. Two, one, done. Oh, I hate it when they're behind us because you can't see them. <laughs> Seven rounds. Six, five, four, three, two, one, done. What are we down to? That was pretty much it, okay. Box all the shells now. I said unbox all the shells. Here we go.
Look at them all. <laughs> oh, we are so effed. Not even the hedge trimmer can save us now. Our reloading skill. Our aiming skill is almost up again, so that's nice. <laughs> Missed. Look at them all fall. <laughs> we'll be down to 25 shells, basically. We're about done here. <laughs> Never gonna be able to recover all this brass. Well, not really brass. I don't know why you can pick the shotgun shells up, actually. It's not like you can really reload plastic shotgun shells. Here come more. Even more zombies coming now. We gotta start pulling them this way, because it's about time for us to pull out of here. This is about it, guys. Okay, we got three rounds, so... Three. Alright. Last round, let's make a count. Nope. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And we're done. Aren't we? Yep, we're done. Okay, time to go. We're gonna run up here into the trees. Let's equip the steel pipe just in case. We have to fight a individual zombie. So we're gonna run up here into the trees. We're gonna use the trees to break line of sight. Head south now and try to get back to the truck. That group should have lost contact with us. Here's some we killed. Have a look through this group here. I don't know if we've ever actually looked at these guys. It's maybe a group we are. Yeah, no, there are. I saw a shotgun shell on the ground there. Oh, there's a box of 25 shells. Let's not use that right now. <laughs> All right. Here's some more we shot. And so, what I've basically d demonstrated here, the reason for the, yeah, blunt makes you fast. Anyway, the reason for what I did here it wasn't necessarily, one, because it was interesting, and two, I just wanted to demonstrate why firearms are such a bad idea. Now, I'll go get a suppressed rifle and come back out here, and we'll do that, and you'll see the the difference. But it's still... Uh-oh. He, he wasn't dead. Oh, also, I just wanted to let everybody know our uh, our wound healed just fine. So we once again managed to escape death and get lucky. So that's great. We search these guys here. Nope, we sure didn't. Oh yeah, there's that group. We broke contact with that group. I think we did anyway. I hope so. That might be them coming actually. Could just be stragglers. Hopefully they didn't hear us down here. I see her. I just want to take some pills. Because, you know, that's what I do in the middle of combat. I, I pop pills. Okay, there's nothing there. Oh, there was a box of uh, 7.62 and another MRE. Can't turn down MREs, ever. 
I should really be grabbing these camelbacks if there's water in them, honestly. Since they are a source of water. So I don't know how many... I, I, I should have looked at um, our kill count prior to starting this attempted zombie massacre here. I'm going to take that road flare. But uh, compared to what we saw, we definitely didn't kill more... Like, I, I don't think that was actually beneficial to us. I will take that SKS stripper clip, though. Take this plate carrier, too. I'm going to start picking up this military stuff just for, uh, for RP's sake. We'll start wearing it, too. Oh, shit. Oh, two, two creepy crawly ones. One creepy crawly one now. There we go. They're dead. Matches. For sure. And a pacifier for us to suck on when we get scared. Energy drink. About to guzzle that right now. So, and it can be very easy to, you know, miss zombies once you've conducted a horde fight like that. All the bodies run together and all that good stuff. But anyway, I think that's going to about do it for this episode. So now, we've learned why guns are bad, kids. Um, and so, we'll come back out here one day with, like, a suppressed rifle and see how that goes, but, uh, I think we're done picking over the corpses, and I'm going to go ahead and head back. Thanks for watching this episode of uh, Project Zomboid Survival, and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time.